This video is sponsored by Tupelo Designs LLC where U.S. shipping is always free with no minimum purchase and international shipping is discounted. They are also home of the daily deal so be sure to check that out and sign up for their reward program. For today's project I am going to make an easy layered card and I am going to use this My Favorite Things Lovable Leopard Stamp Set. And I'll be using the leaf paper out of the 6x6 paper pad. It's called uh, At the Zoo and it's by Doodlebug and it's actually cardstock. It's not paper. And there's just a quick flip through but I'm only using a portion of one uh, piece of paper and that would be the leaves. I'll be stamping out the um, leopard that's on the branch. I'll be stamping that out on some Nina uh, Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. And I'll be stamping it with uh, Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I will also be stamping out those three birds. But for the three birds, I'm going to use Distress ink. And I'll be using Candied Apple, Wilted Violet, and Mermaid Lagoon. And once I have everything stamped out, I am going to color that cute leopard and I will be using Spectrum Noir markers. They are alcohol markers. And when I link to the Spectrum Noir markers, I'm just going to link to the page that has the most Spectrum Noir markers on it because I use a variety of colors to color up this leopard. And once I get that leopard colored just the way I want it, I will cut out the leopard and the three birds. And then I'm going to stamp out the sentiment, I spot a great friend, and I'm stamping that out on the medium size oval window die from My Favorite Things. And now I'm just kind of laying everything out where I want it. And that's the cardstock from a Doodlebug. And it's five and a half inches long by three inches wide. And that's uh, a die that I used to cut that five and a half piece long cardstock. And this is the die. It's the scalloped stitched edge by My Favorite Things. And I just laid it the long way and I cut it out on my uh, Big Shot. And now I'm just trying to figure out where I want everything. So I'm just kind of, uh, it's like a puzzle. I'm just kind of laying it out where I want it. Then once I figure out where I want it, I will actually glue everything down onto an A2 size card base. So then uh, it's already, I don't have to make a card front. I glue everything onto the A2 size card base. And I have found when you're gluing uh, buttons on, especially if they're shiny, that hot glue works the best. So I do have my hot glue gun there and it's nice and hot. So I'm just going to use that to glue the button onto that natural twine 
that I uh, kind of wrapped around that white scallop piece. I don't like a lot of bulk, so I always end up just taping uh, the edges down. I overlap the edges and then I tape them down. But for the button, I'm using uh, hot glue and the tails are kind of long on my bow, but I will trim those later. And here's the card base. It's just an A2 size card base that I made out of Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. And I will glue everything onto the card base, and then that way I don't have to glue a card front onto a card base. And once I get everything glued down, I am going to trim that bow on that button. And I just take a scissors and I uh, trim it to the bottom, the tails. I trim the tails to the bottom of the card because I want them kind of long. And that's it. My friend card is finished. And it says, I spot a great friend. And this would be great to give to one of your friends. And uh, I did leave the inside blank because I like to personalize my cards. So again, I left it blank. And all of the items I used will be listed um, down below in the description box. And I also have a blog and that will be listed down below also. And I also uh, give links to the products in my blog. I've made it super easy for you to subscribe to my channel. You can click on my avatar or my profile picture and you can just click on that. And I also have some other interesting videos to the left for you to click on. So thanks for watching. Bye.